Hey man, it's a video I've been wanting to do for a long time that I've been putting off because I was trying to to get smart on the topic, and uh, I've, just, I've I've come to realize the more I, I look into it, the less it, it's just too complicated. But it's an interesting one, and uh, I think you guys, if you're not already kind of watching it, you should. Uh, it ties together a bunch of threads for us right wingers, uh, climate change, and and everything. So there's this thing called. I'm going to get some of this terminology wrong, and I apologize. The grand solar minimum, or there's the, the solar minimum, and, and then there's a grand solar minimum, or the solar grand minimum, or minimum grand solar, I, I don't know. Uh, and the, 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 the thing here is, is that supposedly uh, uh, surface temperatures on Earth are, are kind of dictated, or not dictated, but highly influenced by solar flare activity. All this is my my understanding of how this works. Uh, and solar flare activity is on a, a cycle, like an 11 year cycle. And then those 11 year cycles are on like a 500 year cycle or so. Hey, you're, you're bugging me, oh, careful. Are on a, like a 500 year cycle. Uh, and we are coming to the, we, we just peaked at the top of a cycle and now we're coming, we're gonna start, gar start trending down uh, so that in theory temperatures are going to start getting cooler and what I've been trying to, to figure out and look for before I talked about this is uh, is how that much it would affect uh, agriculture because that's that's the big that's the big impact uh, the what I'm reading is suggestion that uh, I'm really bad about connecting this stuff to how I, I start talking about what interests me first and I don't like summarize it up front and try to grab your attention uh, so so what this can lead to is uh, food shortages because it affects the growing season your uh, your average temperatures can drop by 15 percent uh, so your freeze you know your 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 growing period from your frost free days your free your freeze free days become greatly reduced uh, and so your growing season is much shorter and so you get obviously smaller crop yields. Uh, you get, and you're more likely to lose crops. So I'm gonna. This is something I'm gonna be keeping an eye on as as things go forward. Uh, you know, I I'm one of these who I don't really think we're gonna have a big collapse event, or or I, I don't think it's likely. Uh, I think we're gonna have a series of ongoing downgrades until one day we wake up and we realize. <laughs> that things have just gone nuts uh, and, uh, and when you look at human history there's three things that that tend to get us you know uh, war famine and, and plague so so this this feeds into to, to famine but it doesn't just feed into famine there's been a, a few periods in human history where where I don't want to say the word climate change but where uh, a, a a sudden drop in temperatures has driven a bunch of social unrest. Uh, the most recent one was in 1848. There was a series of revolutions across Europe uh, that were sort of driven by uh, remarkably bad harvest. One one was a late freeze. Then there was like a drought. Then there was like <laughs> rain in a really bad place or a really bad time. And then then the, the potato blight hit, uh, and. Uh, and it, it drove a bunch of, uh, of unrest in Europe, drove a bunch of immigration to America, uh, had, had a real big impacts on, on the world, world stage at the time because you know, food got so expensive. I think I read that, that food cost increased by like 100% or 50% or, or ba they're basically food, the buying food consumed the average paycheck entirely. All, all you could afford was food. There was there was no room else in, in the average worker's uh, uh, budget for anything but food. And of course, that had this this rippling effect throughout the economy. You couldn't afford to buy anything but food. You know, you weren't buying clothes. You weren't upgrading housing. You weren't going to the theater. You know, all this stuff. And at all, there was this this cascading effect. This dog is driving me nuts. Uh, so. So pay attention to the solar grand minimum. You know the the libs, the the powers that be are telling you about climate or uh, global warming and climate change, uh, and and it looks like uh, instead what's going to happen is is the temperature is going to start dropping. There's been a pause in the in the 
in the global warming that they can't explain for about 15 years now. Uh, and they've, they've just gotten so egregious about, about uh, uh, cooking the books and changing the numbers and everything that uh, it's ridiculous. You know, they don't, they don't even pretend to report the real numbers anymore when the real numbers don't match their, what their predictions. They adjust the real numbers. It's, it's really bad on the global warming front. But more than global warming, it sounds like we're going to start going in the other direction. All you guys who are looking at the redoubt up there in uh, northern Idaho and all that, and uh, I might want to, I might want to rethink that if I was you, if you were, if you were looking at, at that area, because if we are entering into a period of of, of hard winters, and uh, and this has happened before, one time the River Thames completely froze over in London, giant river like the size of the Mississippi, it might even be bigger as far as water flow. I don't know. The whole stinking thing just froze over. <laughs> Uh, they called it the mini ice age the last time it happened. It was called the Maunder Minimum. Uh, that, that was a specific time that a guy named Maunder noticed where there was low sunspot activity and it corresponded with this, this really cold period. There's other minimums uh, that you can look up, look into it. it. It's on Wikipedia and it's all over the place. The best website to look at this is Watts, W-A-T-T-S, upwiththat.com. These guys seem to be uh, in the know on this thing, but very, very technical. Uh, I'm, I'm at least of average intelligence, and I have a hard time keeping up with what they're talking about. But uh, this is something to keep in mind as going forward, that uh, the growing seasons might get shorter, heating and fuel costs might go up. Uh, th this is one of those... Uh, those things, you know, that, that may sound boring. It's not sexy like North Korean EMPs, but it's very, very likely. Man, I appreciate you. Thank you.